My name is Fiona Film Studies with a Z, and I'm going to be guiding you through what is thought to be the age of the death of film. In recent discussion, it's been said that Hollywood is on its way down and out. In a late article published by The Guardian, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, two of Hollywood's most prestigious directors, stated that they have predicted the implosion of Hollywood, which could change the shape of the film industry forever. They suggest that the results of this implosion could be increased price in movie tickets, increased price in the merchandise, including DVDs and Blu-rays, and it might even mean that huge Hollywood names such as themselves forfeiting their worth due to the inability to screen their movies. An example, Lincoln, a recent Spielberg movie, did not pass the blockbuster compatibility test, so was therefore not aired for longer than a few days in most cinemas. Their fear has stemmed from the recent decrease in cinema ticket sales and DVD slash video sales, which is evident on the screen australia.gov.au in the industry statistics section. I went and spoke to a local cinema in the area to ask them a few questions about what they thought of the idea of the death of film. Um, is today a busy day at the cinema? No. It's not? It's not. So, um, do you watch, do you go to the cinema outside um, of work? Yeah, I definitely do. You do? Um, not too much recently in the past month, but yeah, I do go so see So you still support movies. the cinema then? Yeah. Well, yeah, but we do get cheaper tickets for working. Here, oh, so, that's right. Yeah. Um, do you download movies at home? I do. You yes. do download movies. Yes. What platform do you use? Uh, torrent platform. We talk. Uh, I can blow your face out at this point. No, that's fine. Um, I'm. I'm actually. I'm a strong believer in the fact that torrents aren't actually as bad as movie companies make them out to be. Mm. The amount of uh, TV shows and the amount of movies that I've watched that way and then thought were really good and not only went out and bought them myself but exactly. recommended them to a, like a wide range of people who have then gone and researched them and bought them themselves and you know got into that's it right themselves. it's about word of yeah. mouth isn't it and the thing is to... yeah a lot of times people aren't able to afford you know every single movie mm. or they can't make the time for them mm. and i or think they don't come out early enough yeah. for us over here in australia yes yeah, <laughs> especially yeah in yeah. australia so i don't think it's as terrible a thing to go and find them as you know some people to believe mm. but uh, as that's as long as you're still willing to put back you know money into it yep. as long as you know you're not torrenting absolutely everything <laughs> and you're never willing to pay money at all yeah but yeah I it's not as simple as you know if you torrent it you're a bad person yeah <laughs> you want to go to jail exactly. so you don't think it's the death of film then um I think it's more I think more of the internet, if anything, is the death of film, not so much the torrents. Yeah. Because I think, especially in the near future, just the ability to make things available via the internet is mm. just a much easier way to get your your TV show, your film, to a wider audience. Yep. And yeah, I just think it's just a changing market. The it is. Running a far cinema. More accessible as yeah. well, just on other platforms. So. Yeah. That's why I think it it's trending more towards the sort of like the gold class VMAX sort yeah. of thing where you're paying for the experience. Exactly. You're paying for like, you know, larger screen, better quality, really good sound, yep. great seating. And that's sort of more what it's moving towards. Whereas just going for a night at the movies isn't what it used to be. Mm. You know, people don't get all dressed up. You know, we get so many people coming in on like with onesies on uh. during the weekend. So uh. it's not the same. Literally like pajamas. Yeah. Uh. It's clear from this interview, and also further study which can be found on the reference list, that there is more to consider in regards to the topic than meets the eye. An interesting point which Adam, who's the manager of the Greater Union Cinema in Wollongong, stated, was that the demographic of cinema goers has not changed over time. As stated by Adam, and also found in the industry statistics webpage, was that 14 to 24 year olds are the industry's main market for cinema watching, Though over the span of 40 years, there's been a clear increase in 40 and 50 and over usage. So if these films are still circulating, gaining public attention without being watched at the cinema or through DVD purchase, then how are they being viewed? Over the 8.5 million people who watched a feature film, TV drama or documentary online in the last year, 50% said that they were now watching more of these types of content across all platforms compared to five years ago. Quote screenaustralia.gov.au
People are watching films on different platforms. So what are these different platforms? In an academic article by Janet Wapsco, it was evident that the internet is harvesting a huge source of the media watching sites and programs. These include YouTube, Hulu, Crackle, Cinema Now, Vio, and Vongo. These are all sites which enable individuals to download whole films free of charge. So how many people are doing this? Australians download content illegally more frequently by head of population than any other country. 19 million downloads were recorded throughout Australia in 2012, including movies, television, programs and music. I spoke to a few people in the area about how they feel about downloading. Do you download movies? Yes, I do, and TV series as well. Okay, so where do you download them from? Normally from YouTube. Do you download movies? No. You don't download movies? No. Not at all. Each of those individuals stated that they do in fact download media through illegal sources, including the man at the end, who confessed that he did indeed illegally download media, although was concerned to express this. And don't worry, we got his consent. This just does not seem right, considering Hollywood movies being produced more and more each year, and the actors starring in these films are still earning unthinkable amounts of money. So how is film, or even Hollywood, dying? As stated by Janet Wasco, although Hollywood is experiencing significant change, it is still premature to celebrate or bemoan its death. As we've pointed out, some Hollywood observers see these changes as positive and are optimistic about its future. The same goes for film. Although film content and distribution may be going through a time of change and disruption, there are plans for a brighter future, such as purchasing a piece of the digital cloud to store your media. But that's another story, folks. So thank you for listening and stay tuned. Oh, and just a quick thank you to our interviewees, Adam, Cassandra, Olivia and Chris.